Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. And today I thought I'd talk about my seed sowing production line. Now I've tried to simplify this over the years um, to get it as really simple as possible. And my objective is not really to grow seeds and grow seedlings really quickly, but to grow them in as a controlled a fashion as possible. So I get the predictable results, which allows me to get the timings right, which allows me to get the successions right, etc., etc. Um, it allows me to sow less seeds, um, you know, and, and less spares because I can be more confident that things are going to grow in the way that I'm expecting. And right now, in this kind of difficult time with uh, COVID-19, uh, it also allows me to grow a lot more of them at home than in the polytunnel on the allotment, which requires lots of visits, sometimes two, maybe even three times a day, in order to keep them hydrated there because it just gets so hot. So, um, yeah, I'll take you through the uh, steps that I go through pretty much every day. So everything starts in here, in my workshop. And I've got this one little space here where all the seeds get sown. The lighting's terrible, so I never show myself seed sowing because uh, it's just not a great place to do it. I'm not a big fan of sowing seeds. So uh, every other part of gardening I like sowing seeds, I get a bit fed up of. All my seeds, apart from those that need a lot of heat, just go in this bedroom underneath the radiator. And I can get a lot of seedling trays in here. I think I can get seven trays in. This bedroom's got this little fan in and it's got a thermometer on it and it's currently reading 21. But normally, uh, for most of the year, it reads about 18. We like to keep our bedrooms cool. So as soon as those seedlings so show any sign of life, they come into the conservatory, which is my den. Uh, and it's also my growing room now. And they go onto this rack behind me. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and I basically, I, I try and avoid potting on wherever possible. So in most cases, anything that's going to germinate really successfully uh, and anything that's not going to get really leggy really quickly, uh, I tend to just sow direct into the module trays and then they stay in those module trays until they get planted out. And you'll see some of those in a minute. Things that might get leggy really quickly, and generally that's the, the brassicas. So it's things like say tatsoi or sprouts uh, or um, yeah, kale, cabbage, whatever. I sew those into little trays. Uh, and I think I've got one here. Yeah. So these are ones I've just potted on, and so these are the spares that are left. So I might sow 20 or 30 uh, seed, uh, seeds into one of these individual trays here. Uh, and so I've got a batch of, of six there of different types. And as I say, that's a spare tray. Everything else, I'll tend to just sow direct into the module tray. So in this case, these are cucumbers, uh, and then I just won't pop those on. And, uh, and the reason I can do that is because I'm generally planting under cover. And so I don't need the plants to be very big and mature at the time that I plant them. Uh, so I don't need to pop them on into anything bigger than this. They can be planted out at that size. As soon as things germinate, I used to take them almost always straight down to the polytunnel. But um, as I mentioned, that's quite difficult now uh, in current circumstances. But also I found that it was just, you know, that the variations between daytime and nighttime temperature were so great that uh, things weren't growing quite as predictably as I wanted. They were growing fine. It's just that sometimes they were taking, you know, much longer than I would have liked and figuring out how long to sow them uh, in advance of planting dates was quite tricky. So it's much nicer now I'm doing things in the conservatory because everything is so much more predictable. Now, once things have germinated, they're coming onto this grow rack here. Um, and it's got a grow light, a spider farmer grow light up here that was actually gifted to me. Um, and that illuminates this top bench here 
And I've actually got another grow light coming, uh, which is going to hang, which is going to be underneath here. Uh, and it's going to illuminate this bench here as well. And then that bench will be dropped down a little bit. And then I'll have two sort of holding um, areas there, which still get pretty good light. Now, the problem is with this being a conservatory and with it having solid walls on both sides and not being truly south facing, um, it's kind of south east facing this conservatory. Um, it only gets really good sun for probably six or seven hours a day. The grow light really helps with that because it provides you know really good sun for 18 hours a day to the top bench there and i can swap these seedlings around so they're getting good light at the moment um, but then later on uh, in the day i can move them onto this top bench where they'll get light from uh, the uh, spider farmer grow light and as i say once i've got two of those i'll be able to uh, really accelerate things um, I also have this grow light on from two o'clock in the morning. Uh, and so that provides a full 18 hours of sunlight to, uh, or sunlight equivalent to uh, these seedlings. So basically the sequence is, they start out here and they grow here until they're you know, reasonably mature plants. And then it depends on the time of year as to what happens next. They then either go onto these bottom bench here or they go onto the windowsills. And once they're reasonably mature, you know, by that I mean three, four weeks old, something like that, um, at that point, they're not anywhere near as likely to go leggy on me. Uh, and they grow quite nicely with the uh, six or seven hours of sunlight that the conservatory gets with no additional light needed. So back to my little example tray of brassicas. I'll prick those out and I'll pop those on. They will just go into a seedling tray like this. And after I've pricked them out, these are actually the ones that I pricked out from that tray. And I did that two, two days ago. And they'll actually just go on the floor here and back up in that bedroom now, uh, where they get a little bit of light, but mostly shade. And they'll stay there for about well, 12 hours, something like that, just to let them stabilize after pricking out. And then on this windowsill, they only get about six hours of light, of sunlight. And that is just enough for them to kind of just get nicely established. And after that, they'll go back down into the conservatory um, because the, the roots are working again and they can cope with the heat and the light in that environment. But just gives them a few days just to get established here. What happens next depends on what we're growing. Uh, things like brassicas will just stay in here under these grow lights. Things like peppers, they will go up here onto that top shelf because It's really warm up here. And sometimes it's too warm. And so there's two little fans, one at each end, just to keep the air circulating. Like beans and tomatoes, again, another little shelf area there. Celery and squash plants, they'll also stay inside. Little tomatoes, and a few of those tomatoes will actually stay in the conservatory for an early crop. Got some more tomatoes there, or another tomato there. Same with cucumbers. And then we're all gonna stay in here for another few weeks until some of them go to the polytunnel. And then ultimately some will go outside. For a lot of crops, they really benefit from getting outside. So I've got this nice little grow bench here. This gets a lot of sun. Um, and so it's perfect for things like spring onions, beetroot, spinach, lettuces, and brassicas. And these are all hardening off at the moment. So they're brought inside at night, uh, but they're out on this bench most of the time uh, during the day. And there's some peas there as well. And then the next step 
is that they get planted out under fleece and they stay under fleece for a couple of weeks at this time of year although with this exceptionally sunny weather this fleece is probably going to come off now because these have had it on for uh, a few weeks and they're doing very nicely. And it's mostly peas under here and lettuces and spring onions under here. So I hope you like a quick introduction to my seedling production line. Um, it's really, I, I've really enjoyed it this year by comparison with previous years. It's just been so much easier and it's so much nicer to kind of be surrounded by all my seedlings. Um, and you know, it's, it's less work, it's less anxiety, uh, better quality. Uh, it's just win, win, win. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick video. And you know, if you've got uh, any comments about uh, how I could do things better uh, or good examples of alternatives, then I'd love to hear about it. I'll see you soon.